Oh, looks like uh, the butterfly's about to get it. Oh, that is an awesome combo right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. But the, um, is that... Okay, just kind of breathe. The big thing is, when you're strength training and you gain more muscle, you your base metabolic rate will go up. Because it's the, that which is how much you burn calories at rest. If you have more muscle, then your body needs to burn more, cal more calories to maintain them. Um, when you are only doing cardio as your routine, you will lose weight, but it's much more often that you will lose uh, muscle along with fat, and you need to do strength training to maintain it, to maintain your muscle, because you don't want to be just skinny with no strength. To me, I don't think that's a healthy way to No, work. you don't want to be a twig. You want to have good muscle. I also just think it's healthier. Yeah. Because we value so much on looking thin that I think we need to value more on... Feel, on Getting in shape. Yeah, just feeling strong. And, you know, if you're the type of body... I, I also think it works because there are some people who have a body makeup where being a bit bigger is normal. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't be, like, strong and fit. There we go. Ah, you beat him. <laughs> I try to work mostly on my arm muscles and waist area when it comes to ring fit. Well, remember, Jory, spot reduction is not real. You, with everything you do, you work out your whole body. You could focus on muscle groups and activate them. That is isolated, like, muscle workouts. But at the end of the day, you know, you can't lose fat in one area. You, so you in just one area, you, you lose it all around. And those also happen at different uh, different sp paces and everything, given how stubborn your body fat is. The wonderful truths of fitness with Chrissy. <coughs> are you not? Are you dying? Stop I it. just suddenly, I like, I just suddenly choked on my spit. Oh. Yeah, that's that's never fun. Gross. <coughs> it's gross, and it's unpleasant. <coughs> mm. I mean, yes, both of those are true, but I I'm mostly focusing on the gross. <coughs> well, just by saying the word spit, yeah. I mean, you have a weird thing with spit. Yes. You have a weird thing with most things. <coughs> You're just weird. But I love you, so. I love you too. Aw, gross. You chose this gross. Ha! Saw that coming. Too easy. All too easy. I <laughs> just saw that frog jump up. <laughs> He's like, ah! Like somebody shocked him. Nice. Yeah, that frog went hopping mad. Oh, boo, dude, come on. Is someone being punny? Yes. I my my chat does that a lot. And, uh, like, just for the record, every time I do those kind of reactions, we, we do it in a humorous sense of being vicious. I, I think they understand that. I know, I, I just, I, I still have fun memories of... Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. oh, Jesus, he fucking creamed you. Hey, I kept him. And, you know, I, I, uh, I would say... Yeah. Shut the fuck. <laughs> Let me try it. Yeah, okay, here you go. Yeah. Have fun with Froggy Boy. <laughs> mm. ah. Okay, let me ask you a question about video games. Okay. Favorite Smash game? Like Smash Brothers. Uh... I meant, okay, this is kind of biased here, but it's either a tie between... Uh, melee or brawl. I like melee because I love the soundtrack. I like brawl for its wide variety of stages and characters. What I don't like about brawl is that they took some characters out and they kept some other characters in for dumb reasons. I, um, I would say brawl is one of my favorites, but Smash Ultimate's also really good. Yeah, I had to, I have yet to catch up on all these Smash games. Um, I, I, I played Smash Ultimate at a... At a 
uh, Momo Khan. Oh, okay. At a party with people, and it's really good. I grew up with Brawl, though. There used to be, during the summer at the library in my town, uh, they would have Smash tournaments, and I would always go, and, uh, what was your main in Smash? Like, what was, what was your go-to character? God, that was all over the place. Like, when it came to Melee, it used to always be Roy, mm -hmm. because I, it was either Roy or Marth, because I loved their down, um, not their down move, but their... Marth, uh, Echo fighter of Roy, or the other way Roy was an echo fighter of um, Marth, but with some different moves, where if he held down a certain power button long enough, he would create this giant explosion. Anybody who goes near him, you're, you're done. That kind of sounds like Ganondorf's down B. It kind of is. Um, my mains were uh, the characters that people really hate, Mr. Game and watching Kirby. Okay, Kirby, I can accept. Game & Watch is just a repetitive scumbag. Now, on the contrary, in Brawl, I got so used to playing as Pikachu because with so many people jumping around a lot, if I get annoyed enough, I just hit down A on a smash attack and it groups them all together into one. It's like, here! Get over here. Get over here! I mean, Pikachu also has a good range attack, too. Yeah, the only problem... He's lightweight, so you can get your ass kicked very easily if you're not careful. Exactly, but, uh, yeah, I was real uh, in Smash tournaments, I was really good at Mr. Game and watching Kirby, and, oh. and people were not happy with me. I hated Game and Watch. Okay, the game, the characters I hated in Brawl were either Game and Watch, Meta Knight, Wario, or Lucas. Lucas has his overpowered up A attack that has his like hexagon shape. Mm -hmm. And no matter what, you're gonna be sent flying through the roof and you're just I, it's gonna I cost you a life. Not liking fighting against Meta, Knight. Meta Knight is just overpowered as fuck. Uh, but I, I heard he got nerfed down though. Yeah. But the the thing is, uh, I think people dislike I mean, like you said, repetitiveness. It's kind of like um, when you get someone in a corner with Chun Li and you just spam Chun Li's low kick. Or when Ryu constantly spams the Aduke in Fireball. Yeah, it's kind of like that. But I, I, I will say, I was not one of those people that just puts you in a corner and bug sprays you. I also used the frying pan. I actually utilize a lot of Mr. Game and Watch's other moves besides the bug sprayer. Doesn't mean I didn't use it, but I did more than just bug spray. I also was uh, pretty good at Zelda and Sheik. Zelda and Sheik, like Sheik was like tough as nails, but Zelda was once again, like with Game & Watch, just holding you down with something and it got really annoying. I mean, Zelda's also good with, um, with stages that have the drops because her floating power is actually really useful. Yeah, um... Oh, Little Mac is really fun to play. Little Mac? Who's Little Mac? Punch Out. Oh, I haven't played Punch Out, which is kind of You're weird. Wrong. What? Do you, what? Am I wrong for what? Punch Out is like one of Nintendo's like flagship games for a while. I I know it is. It's just I know that it's odd that I haven't played that despite being a fan of retro games. I just you should play it on stream sometime. I, I really ought to check it out. I even, like, found out there was, like, an additional installment of, like, Super Punch-Out. I'm like, why the fuck did I not hear about that? Yeah, there was Punch-Out, Super Punch-Out, and then they had a Punch-Out game on the Wii. Yeah, I'm gonna be fucked. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Um, well, it was, yeah, it was Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, then there was controversy with Mike Tyson, and then they replaced Mike Tyson with Mr. Dream. Or yeah. Or Mr. Sandman, something like that. Do you want me to try? Sure. Uh, I think this will be the last round. I'm, yeah, I'm, this is as far as we can go. I'm starting to fade. But I'm still epic. <laughs> <laughs> I think your audience is genuinely impressed with how good I am at this game, because in my streams, I'm not that good at video games. I've, I've, I've seen a couple, and things have been pretty heated. Well, it's just, I think, like, people, I don't play, I try to keep my mind open with games, so I don't usually play games like this that are, like, my skill set. Mm -hmm. So I look like, I look like bad gamer, bad gamer baby bitch, but, uh, I, 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 when it comes to certain genres of games, I'm actually really damn good. Also, I mean, when people see me finally get serious while playing games on my stream, 
I, I do actually, uh, I'm a quick learner, and I play fairly, uh, fairly well. Key is the anti-golden when it comes to Tetris ga Ouch! What, what was that, what is that supposed to mean? Are they making fun of you? Yeah, they kind of are. Oh, well, uh, keep doing it. <laughs> do you do something in Tetris that people don't like? It's it's because of the whole Bliss uh, OCD thing. And do you just play it in an unorthodox way? I've never seen you play Tetris, actually. Outside of this game. Well, um... No, like most people just remember that. Okay, I was I did try playing uh, Tetris 2, and that turned out to be one of the most, like... One of the most hilarious streams out there because of Blizz going ape shit. Um, but like trying to get a few like colors in a row, and, but they always came in odd shapes. So you always had to like, I was stuck between the mindset of just fitting the blocks in and trying to get colors in certain rows. Like I felt so conflicted with that. And they're all just like, the game expects you to expect, uh, stack three colors in a row. It's not that hard. Oh, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> But it was a, it was still a hilarious call stream, no less. Call the ambulance. No, like that's actually the um, that's the let's play that like gave out the uh, like a couple of like moments that people remember. Like, let's see, uh, Bliss going all blue, black, ah! and <laughs> fucking Solar saying, "I'm watching all this with my looking balls." I, I want to try this again. I gotta beat this guy. <laughs> You're getting personal with that frog. He's like hopping down, up and down, saying, I own you, bitch! Smugora mocks me. I wonder if people are actually um, realizing how uh, calm and quiet I talk in, in real life. Because I, I could see the audio spectrum on your stream. Compare, compare your voice to my voice. Your voice is actually naturally louder than mine. Kind of, yeah. Which is interesting because a lot of people say that my speaking voice is naturally loud. I think I just have a lot of lung capacity and a low voice. So it has more of a presence. But I mean, you're around me most of the time. You know that I don't really talk much during the day. <laughs> Unless I'm like in a call, but even then. Oh, come on! Why didn't it just take care of the other boulder, too? Okay, well, that's you taking... Like that? Yeah, like, I thought it was gonna get both of them, because they both fell on top of each other. I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Okay, that was a cool combo. Thank you. Eat it, frog! Oh. Oh, 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 damn. Oh, there's a row right there. I know, I see. Oh, you're trying to get a combo. Okay. Yeah, my strategy is usually like setting up for either failure or achievement. Because if you can't be good, be spectacularly bad. Oh, Retro Gamer Kevin's uh, playing Ace Combat 7. I played some Ace Combat 7. Like, I played some of Ace Combat, and, like, it's with no surprise, I really love playing those games, because I have a love for uh, war planes or uh, fighter planes. You have a hyperfixation with that. I, I I have a very unhealthy fixation with that, I admit it. Oh, I should have waited. I could have gotten a five. Ah. Uh, eh, you win some, you lose some. But I'm not losing this. But, like, I haven't finished the game yet, but damn, it goes places. The story, I mean. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. Yeah, there you go. Ah, damn it. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, yeah, you're fucked. Alright. Shit! Third time's a charm. God, dude. This frog, I mean, I last a pretty long time. You did. It's just like, at some point, this guy gets so many combos and just, just, just fucks my butt. Away. And this is supposed to be in the normal setting. God damn. 
you know, you think that for a game that has, like, peaceful, happy music and has, like, a happy theme like Yoshi, you would think this game would be, like, easy as shit. And all gumdrops and lollipops. And then this game comes in and it kicks your ass. I mean, it's called a false sense of security. <laughs> Nintendo secretly pulls that shit off, and you know what? I, I applaud to them for that. I tip my hat to you, Miyamoto. Although I will say... Um, like, it's kind of like the opposite when it comes to Super Metroid. Because, like, I played through Super Metroid, and even though I got lost in a few areas, um... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Beep, boop. There we go. You were saying about um, Super Metroid. Maybe it's just me, because I played Super Metroid so many times, but the boss battles were easy. Or at least I thought they were, but they were still fun regardless. Which is kind of weird to say compared to something like this, uh, this game, because Super Metroid was Nintendo's answer to being something grimmer or darker. I mean, didn't they try to do that with other M2 and it was a fantastic disaster? Oh, I've heard so many horror stories of, uh, Metroid Other M. But no, um... I do hope that, like, even though they've had the disaster results of, um, Metroid Other M, I do hope that, um, that Nintendo continues with Metroid somehow. I mean, I've heard word that they're making another Metroid game, but, you know. I, I wouldn't mind if they made, like, another main entry of a Metroid game, like, after, uh, Fusion. They say that Fusion is where they end the timeline, but I'd be open if they would, like, continue the story, like, because I love the main games, um... I have yet to play Metroid Prime. I heard those games are really fucking good. Yeah, the Prime series is. Prime right. series is what I meant to say, my bad. Um, but on a general basis, I have a huge respect for Metroid. Not because of... I know that Fusion was their follow-up. I played the fourth entry and it's hard as balls. Um, what balls have you met that are hard? <laughs> you may want to go to a doctor. But no, uh, Metroid was a game that attempted to try to please both ends of games that were adventure-driven like Zelda or people who were into platformers like Mario. So Metroid would try to have like an in-between where you jump in platforms and you have an exploration. And they managed to make it work. And that's what I respect it for. It was breaking boundaries and taking the risks of going outside of its comfort zone. Yes! Yeah, eat it, frog! Chrissy is the best veteran. The than Golden the Fox. Rest. Was it Ace Combat 6 or 0 that had the one mission with a huge ass laser? I remember hating that mission with a shocking pat. Ah. Uh, okay. The most that I am thinking of, Retro Gamer Kevin, would be Arrow Fighter's Assault when you're in the Fortress stage in South America. When the clock reaches zero, it launches a huge pink beam, and holy dick cheese, is it, like, oh my god. It's, like, you have to really strategize your, like, your height and everything. Like, you can't go too high, because that's where you're an easy target. You have to go, like, really, really low, and you have to be lucky to beat that bastard of a fortress, because, hmm. Sorry for going on a tirade there. No, 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 go, go, you could do it, it's, uh... You're entertaining the audience while I'm in focus mode. Well, also, I want to make sure that Retro uh, Gamer Kevin and I are on the same page. Because that's the most that I can think of as far as a giant-ass fucking beam is. Or a giant-ass laser. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't get it. Don't get it. Come on. Eh, eh. Eh. Oh, God, dude. That was ass-clenching right there. I'm 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 still waiting for, until like Retro Gamer Given uh, responds back. Good old good old stream latency. Yep. That actually traumatized the fuck out of me with that mission. Oh god, dude. I know you're feeling. I know that feeling. Like I okay, I didn't used to be that good at going that far in the game when I was a kid, but I do remember uh, the air battle where you're supposed to take out all the B2 bombers and that one uh, giant B2 bomber that was heading towards New York City. Uh, but that's because, like, there was just so much armor to take out, but also, like, you're trying to focus so much on the boss, and then you have to deal with that, the fucking, uh, Rafal chasing after you. The Rafal was a 
bitch. But, um, but yeah, no, like, God, that mission, Jesus, uh, no, Fortress. No, no. Oh, I know that family. Two boulders over there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, we're a little focused on something at the moment. Fuck! Oh, you have a chance! Uh, okay. Wait, was that a seven? Uh, no. no. Ah. Uh, that's my one weakness with this game. Sometimes I just click the wrong part. Right. I had to act like legit go to the bathroom. Okay, go pee.